Marvin been in prison all these years for something he did not do. I believe that that man is factually innocent, and I think the evidence shows that. It seems like there was a culture of if it's a high profile case, we have to get somebody, and we have to get somebody now. The evidence be damned. As the trial was going on, we're thinking that Marvin's finna get out of jail eventually because there's no evidence. Marvin's steady telling us, like, he don't know what's going on. So we're thinking they're gonna do what's right, and they never did. Marvin is um, yet another unfortunate young African-American man who was um, hemmed up in, by this system for something he didn't do. It's time to free him. And I'm being honest, I'm not just saying this. I've been saying this for years. He is innocent. Man. In 2004, 16-year-old Marvin Haynes was charged with the murder of 55-year-old Randy Shear. Shear was fatally shot during a robbery attempt of Jerry's Flower Shop in North Minneapolis. Despite no physical evidence linking Marvin to the murder, coerced testimony at trial, and Marvin's incessant claims that he was innocent, he was convicted in 2006 and sentenced to life in prison. As part of Unicorn Riot's series, The Case of Marvin Haynes, this video features interviews with Marvin's sister Marvina and family investigator Robert Johnson, along with police footage from 2004. We visited Faribault Prison, where we heard from Isaiah Harper, who was Marvin's cousin and was a key state witness against Marvin. He shared with us how the Minneapolis police threatened and coerced him to lie on the stand during Marvin's trial. I had to say things that wasn't true about somebody I really care about, about my cousin, somebody who I'm, I'm like this with. We also heard from former Minneapolis police officer, Sarah Sorella, and the founder of Communities United Against Police Brutality, Michelle Gross. 